Hey y'all, welcome back to Movement Link. So I wanna talk a little bit about the deadlift setup and just something that kind of goes wrong with people. Uh, and really, they just get their butt a little too high. This can be from lack of quad strength. A lot of times it's just lack of awareness about what the setup needs to look like. So uh, in the clean and the snatch, I'm gonna be standing back from the bar a little bit more than I would in the deadlift. Uh, clean and snatch, I'm not worried about moving the bar off the floor. I'm more worried about getting that bar around my knees into a position to get max force up at the top. Deadlift is so heavy that for most people, we're just trying to get the thing off the ground. So to do that, we need maximal leverage. To get maximal leverage, we wanna stand with this sucker like right in front of that ankle. So we're standing really, really close to this bar. It's not gonna be as close as possible standing up because you're gonna get trapped behind it, but it is almost right on top of the front of that ankle. From that position, we're gonna wanna keep your shins extremely vertical. Because if I just do a regular squat here, you can see I'm pushing that bar. So now it's next to my shins. But when I stand up, now we're at the setup of a clean or a snatch. So very different ball game is I wanna get that bar in close and I need to keep it in close. So not only does it need to be close to the shins, my shins need to be vertical. So here's where the mistake happens is to get vertical shins, there's a lot of different ways we can do this. One of them, just leaving the butt up in the air. So this is kind of the big mistake is a lot of people are lacking quad strength or lacking the awareness in the deadlift and they're setting up to get those shins vertical and they're basically just doing stiff legged deadlifts, which is perfectly fine to do. There's nothing like wrong. You're not gonna get, get hurt. Uh, if you're doing it right, you're not gonna get hurt doing stiff legged deadlifts. It's just not a deadlift. It's not attacking the same muscles. It's just not a deadlift. Uh, so something to keep in mind is as we're setting up, we can still create this jumping back angle that we talk about all the time. If I'm set up like this, and I, I can't hold any significant amount of weight here without my back going. I just don't have the leverage for it. I need that more upright torso. I'm still bent over, but I need that more upright torso just to give my core a chance to hold any significant weight. So when you look at the world-class power lifters, they look extremely squatty down at the bottom. It's because they can't hold 1,200 pounds like this and stand up with it. They have to give that back angle a chance to support that much weight. You'll also see it in the back squat. They squat very vertical. It's hard to bend over and lose that leverage with that much weight. So let's get back to it. I'm gonna stand real close to the bar here. I'm creating that jumping position and I'm gonna squat down to it. But my goal is to keep those shins pretty vertical here. So notice I can still get into that position. Doesn't have to be butt up in the air and it doesn't have to be way here. So I'm just really shoulders over that bar, keeping the knees pulled back. And a lot of people get a little too squatty behind it and they need to come up over and then some people just get a little too high. So I can still create that vertical shin position and get that much better back position. That allows me to drive my legs and butt and hamstrings as I'm coming up. So pay attention to that setup of the deadlift. We want it right in front of that ankle. To get there, you're gonna have to have your shins vertical, but we don't want that at the expense, sticking that butt up and accidentally doing stiff-legged deadlifts every time. Might be the best way for you to move the most weight today, but that is not gonna be the thing that's gonna develop you long-term. So uh, sometimes you gotta take a step back, make those numbers kind of come down a little bit because you're removing that ceiling so you can skyrocket past the person that's just going, 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 and they're gonna hit that plateau because it's all technique. There's only so much weight you can stiff leg a deadlift versus deadlift. Deadlift's a lot stronger lift. Uh, develop it, hope that helps. Talk to y'all soon.